let's head out here and get our first impressions of driving the 2021 Chevrolet Trailblazer. Now, this is, again, a front-wheel drive model. It's a 1.3 liter uh, turbo engine. So this is the bigger of the two engines. This has 155 horsepower. The base 1.2 liter engine has 137. So it's a little bit more power. And this, because it's front wheel drive, is linked up with a CVT transmission, continuously variable transmission, whereas the all wheel drive models will be hooked up to a nine speed automatic. I did also just notice that this has auto start stop technology. You can see here on the gauge, that's where the needle will fall. Let's see if it does it now as I stop for this light. There it is. But the good news is the button that everybody wants is right here where you can disable the start stop system. You can have the engine run all the time. So for today, we're gonna to leave that on and we're gonna disable that system. And we're just gonna enjoy the ride over to Denville. This is maybe a, a 15 minute drive uh, to get there. It's not far at all. It's gonna give us a little bit of uh, stop and go on Route 10 here. It'll give us some highway. It's gonna give us a nice hill climb on Route 80 that we can kind of see how it uh, performs you know, at speed and just kind of get a feel for it. Earlier I talked about like the emergency forward braking and the lane departure warning and all that. You have a couple of indicators here on the dashboard that light up, uh, you know, a vehicle and a vehicle within some lane lines. An indication to let you know that the camera sees the vehicle in front of you and it sees the lane lines and it can intervene where necessary. It is standard in the Trailblazer at all levels of trim. Uh, some of the other Chevrolet models, it's in different packages and stuff like that. But, um, you know, definitely good features to have, you know, as a secondary, a second set of eyes in a sense that could uh, that can intervene in an emergency situation to kind of help you out. Hopefully at that point you snap out of whatever you were doing and, and get back to controlling the vehicle. What I'm noticing so far is the vehicle, I'm doing between 40 and 50 miles an hour. And, you know, I don't have that much experience with CVT transmissions because Chevrolet really hasn't used it all that often, um, you know, but what I'm feeling so far with this is you always seem to have power when you need it, which is really the important thing. So any little input on the throttle, you kind of just, you know, accelerate. You don't feel any shifts. Like in a regular transmission, you would feel the downshift and you'd accelerate. Here, if you kind of get a look at the tachometer, you know, as I accelerate, the needle just kind of climbs and you have the torque and the power you need to, to get moving. I'll be interested to see in a little bit, we're gonna hop on Route 287 North and we'll get an idea of what it's like to actually merge in onto a, you know, onto a major highway. And then on Route 80, we'll see what it's like on that, uh, that climb that I was talking about. Here's our merging ramp here. Uh, steering feels good. It feels pretty precise. Uh, you know, it's very minimal input and you immediately get a, a direction of where the vehicle's headed. Um, you know, it definitely feels like a crossover. It doesn't feel like a sports car. You know, so as you go into turns, I really don't have any sharp turns here, but it, uh, it, it holds the road well. Turn signal on. Let's do a little passing here. I mean, we're doing 73, 74 miles an hour, but very little effort. The vehicle seems to handle like everyday driving styles, you know, fine. You know, I think the big thing with this that's gonna turn people possibly off is it's a 1.3 liter, three cylinder engine. I don't know uh, that General Motors or Chevrolet is really highlighting that it's a three cylinder. They're just calling it a 1.3 liter turbo or a 1.2 liter turbo, but these are three cylinder engines. Now, there was a time when eight cylinders was all you wanted and then six cylinders was all you wanted and then four cylinders. And now we're getting down to three cylinders. Uh, you know, it's technology of turbos and transmissions and gearing and everything kind of coupled together to, to you know do basically what you have to do in the vehicle while getting good fuel economy this one is rated 29 in the city 33 on the highway runs on regular fuel so no need to put high test or anything like that in the vehicle uh, which will you know save a little bit of money at, you know at the pump up here before we hop on route 80 we'll have a nice sharp turn we can kind of feel out the handling and then uh, we'll have another acceleration to merge in. I know I'm gaining on this car, but I kind of wanted to go into this turn a little quicker just to see 
how it uh, how it felt, and you know, it feels like a crossover. It is a little bit of body roll with it, you know, which I guess is to be expected. Feels a little different than uh, you know the passenger cars. It almost feels like you know like the tracks. I would say the Equinox actually feels a little more uh, a little more planted. I guess I don't know. Kind of just talking off the cuff here as I experienced this for the first time. Let's accelerate onto the highway here. It definitely feels different with a CVT transmission. I'm not really used to that. So when you accelerate, you kind of punch it. You're waiting for that downshift. It just never happens. And next thing you know, you're doing, you know, 65, 70 miles an hour. It'll be interesting once we get the all-wheel drive models in to drive the ones with the nine-speed automatic. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Dave B. I sell Chevys. I've been selling Chevys for 15 years. I'm at a dealership in Northern New Jersey where we have five different locations. If you're into this sort of content, please subscribe. I do videos about Chevrolet product. I do uh, like dealership life uh, vlogs, which is kind of like behind the scenes at a dealership and what it's like to work for a dealership. And uh, you know, just stuff like that. So I'd appreciate it if, uh, if you hit that subscribe button. This is the uphill I was talking about. Now I'm climbing it, which I gotta slow down actually. I'm doing 78 miles an hour. Speed limit is 65. I'm doing really just what the flow is doing. And I don't know, I am having no problem whatsoever climbing this hill with this 1.3 liter turbo. Right now I'm at 77 miles an hour and I'm at about 2100 RPM. Change lanes here just to pass off this truck. Seventy-six miles an hour. I noticed being at sixty-five. Like I said, you can see I'm pretty much doing the flow. Uh, what you'll notice on the tachometer and the speedometer there. I'm going to drop back and then I'm going to sort of accelerate. So you can see the the acceleration, kind of what it what it's doing. So right now at 67 miles an hour, I'm cruising at just about right at 2,000 RPM. If I was to kind of put my foot down like halfway, brings you right up to 4,000 RPMs and just like that, you're doing 80 miles an hour. So, you know, I think this vehicle has more than adequate power. Now I'm by myself. If you had four me in this vehicle, you yeah, weigh about 215, you know, so you put another, you know, 600, 650 pounds in the vehicle, you know, how would it respond then? That may be a video for the future you know, just to see the difference of how it handles. I also don't have air conditioning on and, you know, stuff like that, so. You gotta imagine that the manufacturers did enough research and testing to know that this vehicle with the power plant it has in it is gonna do, you know, what it needs to do. You know, like, like every other car out there. I'm gonna go into this turn a little quick. Yeah, I mean, it's a little body roll. It's just to be expected. It holds the road well. I just came around that curve at about 40 miles an hour. Um, you know, and it, 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 held, it held it fine. Our Denville location is uh, just here up the street. So we'll pull in, we'll pick up the LS front wheel drive and we'll take a ride back. I also found out that we have a shipment coming in. I think I have three more Trailblazers coming in today. I'm hoping one of those is an RS model. Uh, if so, that would be awesome. We can kind of put a video together on that one right away as well. Let me pull up front here. 